Welcome to the second episode of the JavaScript in one hour series. In the last video, we executed our first JavaScript using Node and the browser console. If you didn't see my first video, I'll put a card here. You can watch it before this video. In this tutorial, we are going to talk about data and variables. I guess you have some understanding of variables and assigned data. When you create a variable and assign data, the variable name and the value are allocated to a memory location. Then you can use the variable name to retrieve the data from that memory location when you need to access it later. In JavaScript, we use var var keyword to declare variables. But with easy MA scripts, or ES6 standards, we are using let and const keywords to declare variables. And const keyword for constant variables, that means you cannot change it after initialized. And there is a considerable difference between let and var keywords, but for this moment, let's not make it a problem to go further. Let's declare a variable using let keyword. If you print this variable back, you will get the value as undefined. Just to execute this JavaScript, please follow the video carefully. You can use type of keyword to receive the data type of the variable. If you print this here, you will get undefined because you didn't assign any value. That means undefined is one of the data types in JavaScript. But if you assign data to these variables and print the type back, you will get the actual type of the variable. So initially it's undefined. After you assign a value, it takes the type of that value. If you change the value of the variable from string to number, and if you try to print it, it will print the type accordingly. Let's do one simple exercise. Uh, we can assign different values to this number variable, and we can print the type of the variable. Then we can see what are the types it displays depend on different values. You can see the first one, it, uh, the type displays a string, but for the other few, it doesn't matter. It's an integer or double or a decimal or minus number. It always displays number. And uh, especially added to other things as well here. Uh, if it is undefined, the type is also undefined. But if I set the value null, if you check the type, that is going to be object. We will see a lot of examples later in this tutorial. Those are primitive data types. So other type we can find in JavaScript is reference type. So we can consider object, functions, arrays and collections. Let's start with object reference type. So if we consider address in real world situation, we have these properties, uh, house number, street name, city, country, kind of. So if we try to implement the same object in JavaScript, still we have to define those properties. Let's create the address object. So this is how we create the object in JavaScript. So you can define all these properties using a key value pair. So we created the object. Now let's try to access the properties of the object. You have two different ways to access the properties. One is the dot method. The other one is the bracket method. So if you use object dot the property, you can access the value of that particular property. The similar way you can use the bracket notation as well. Functions are the next reference type. We use functions to perform a task, especially a reusable task, execute again and again. 
we can use function keyword to create a function so here as an example let's say we need to add values so inside a function we may execute some instructions or we may return some result or both when we need to use the function we call the function by its name depend on what we are going to do in the function we can pass arguments into the function as an example here we return uh, 1 plus 3 from the function but that is not what we need from the function if we need to reuse this function we have to create the function as it expects some arguments from the call to the function so you can see in this console log we call the function using its name now the function is ready to accept two arguments so in the function call we are passing 2 and 3 and it returns 5 arrays and collections are the next reference type so here let's discuss about arrays so I'll create one array using let keyword uh, that is items in the bag so that can be denoted using empty brackets so just to initialize the array you can put the element inside the bracket so uh, I'll put four elements inside the bracket then let's see how we can access the elements of the array and uh, first of all we can print the uh, complete array and see uh, yeah it's working fine and uh, if we need to access a particular element you have to use the brackets and we have to pass the index here I'm using zero because I need to access the first element of the array and let's say if we need to use third ones we have to put 2 in the bracket as the index if we need to add a new value to the array you can use the same index method to uh, add a new value probably I'll use my next index is 4 that's for the fifth element in the array and instead of assigning a string I can uh, assign uh, object here so nice thing in JavaScript you can add different type of values into the array we can uh, print and see uh, how the new array looks like uh, you can see it prints the new object also inside the array and uh, another nice thing is this array is also an object in JavaScript so if you print the type of the uh, array it says it's an object if we try to assign a new value to an existing position uh, that means uh, existing index the old value will be replaced by the new value so we can use uh, index 2 and we can try to assign some value and let's see how the array looks like after the assignment arrays are a quite big topic in javascript because there are so many utility methods uh, we can use with arrays there are some libraries also uh, written for those utility functions uh, map is one of those functions which is a very useful one using map functions we can iterate each element in the array and we can do some modification and return and return a new array back so here my modification is adding new to each element and it will return a new array with that modification and it keeps the existing array as it is so I'll assign it to a new array variable and I'll print it so you can see uh, that modification has been happened to all the elements in the array 
so like map function there are a lot of other functions and we can talk more about that later in this tutorial so let's do a little recap in this tutorial we learned about variables and data we use let and const keywords to define variables so here if we take that number variable and we can use type of keyword to get the type of the variable it always takes the type of the value so if we print a type of number variable uh, it will be a number and this uh, pi variable has its value 3.14 decimal value but uh, still the type given by the javascript is just a number because it doesn't have so many other types like short long kind of like in other languages data types we can find in javascript are numbers strings boolean undefined null and symbol mostly i referred uh, developer.mozilla.org website and w3 school website uh, so probably you can also go to those websites and uh, learn more about those stuff and uh, we learned about objects and we could define objects using curly braces and we could define properties using a key value pair then we discussed about arrays uh, an array can be defined using empty brackets if you need to assign uh, values you can put comma separated values inside the bracket and we discussed about functions uh, we can create functions using function keyword and uh, we basically use function to perform a reusable task and we learned how we can uh, create a function with the parameters just to make it reusable and uh, we can call the function by its name passing the actual values as arguments okay let's stop here for this episode Please uh, join me and stay with me to discuss more about JavaScript. But basically I started this JavaScript tutorial to support the other tutorials I wanted to start. One is coding physics with JavaScript. The other thing is web development and test automation. Hope those tutorials will be very interested and hope you guys will join me and stay with me. And uh, don't forget to subscribe and share the video and discuss it with your friends. Thank you for watching.